for a season. But you better believe, that's why they came back after 2,000 years. Amen. That's why in 1948 when that happened, that was an amazing fulfillment of Scripture. That ought to build anybody's faith. People that say the Bible's not true and that Jesus is not true, when you read that and you see what happened in modern day events, it ought to build your faith through the roof. Say, this is amazing. All this has come to pass and I've seen it in my generation. And some people even believe that it's interpreted that when Jesus is talking about the, the fig tree and that, 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 that generation shall not die until the return of the Son of Man. Some people actually believe it was 1948. And the way it's looking, it could be that He's going to return before that generation dies and that generation is 65 years old. So how close do we think we are? Think about it. That's pretty close. Mm -hmm. that, that ought to make you want to get right with the Lord. That ought to make you want to get excited for the Lord. Amen. And if you don't know Jesus, that ought to make you repent and come to Him. Because <coughs> there are spiritual principles in here, but the natural things in front of our eyes on the news every day with our technology is showing us. That's the grace and mercy of God. He's showing us the season you're in. He's showing us the fulfillment of prophecy. And He's going to show us even more. And then, like I said, this last week when we've seen that, now we're starting to see all nations turn against Israel. Yep. That's prophecy also. And all, there'll be armies gathered around Israel. Not only will that happen, but then there'll be an Antichrist that rises up to make peace. And he'll break his peace treaty, seven-year peace treaty, in three and a half years, and he'll come against them trying to destroy them. All this is coming. And this, we are seeing the beginning of this right now. Yeah. But I can tell you, you did. it's time for us to pray for Israel. Mm -hmm. It's not time to be anti-Semitic. It's not time to be angry at those Pharisees and Jews over there right now. Because they are blind in part for our sake, is what Paul says in Romans chapter 11. If you read that, it's very humbling. And it says, don't boast not against the branches. Don't boast against them. Lest you be puffed up and you also be cut off. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. I'm not saying that the Word of God says it. There's many people get sick of Israel and they're starting to boast against the branches and they don't even realize that salvation came through the Jews. That's what Jesus was doing. And He's going to do again. He's going to come back again and show Himself to them. Praise the Lord. Ooh, okay. Genesis 17 real fast. And I'll end with this. Because it talks more about the covenant. 17.1 it says, And Abram was ninety years old and nine, and the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect, and I will make my covenant between me and you and will multiply your seed and multiply you exceedingly. And Abram fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with you, and you shall be a father of many nations. Right. Neither shall your name any more be called Abram, but your name shall be called Abraham. For a father of many nations have I made you. Mm -hmm. And I will make you exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of you, and kings shall come out of you. And I will establish my covenant between me and you, and your seed after you, and their generation, for an everlasting covenant mm -hmm. to be a God unto you and to your seed after you. Y'all see that? Yes. And we just went over Galatians that tells us who's that seed. Yes. We are. We are. He's blessed us exceedingly in <coughs> Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now Jesus tells us to endure to the end. Mm -hmm. That there's many things that may happen. But I promise you, for peace, we are to pray for Israel. We are to understand it. What I hope I laid it out where we can understand that what we're supposed to feel about Israel or how we're supposed to feel about Israel. Yes, how we understand the covenant, which is God making the covenant with Himself. And through the cross, the cross <coughs> Amen. Amen. And there's coming a day we are for His Spirit of grace and salvation. <coughs> they will see and be saved. That's the will of God. And that's the will of God, I believe, for our seed. Amen. Mm -hmm. In weeks to come, maybe after Christmas, they'll finish this, but there's too much to finish right now. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot more to this that we're going to go through. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here because we're going to do the Lord's Supper. If you bow your heads with me.